Okay, so this was one tricky question that came into boards yesterday. So they are telling us that AB and CD are two poles, and the most important thing is this: the angles of elevation to the top of the poles are found to be complementary. They are saying so whatever the angles that are going to the top, they are, they are going from peak. See here, one point is this, and one point is this. So the angles of the elevation to the top of the poles are found to be complementary. So this angle plus this angle. Is equal to complementary that sign. So if I take this as theta, this will be how much? 90 minus theta. Why 90 minus theta? That is a question. Many students are asking. Now see here. From this point, they are telling when they go to top of the elevation, they make complementary that sign. So complementary means I will take this angle as A, first angle, the second angle I will take it as B. They both make complementary. This is true. This point makes complementary. These angles make complementary. So first angle plus second angle is equal to 90. Think. Okay. Now I took first angle as theta. First angle I took as theta. Theta plus second angle is equal to 90 degree. So what is second angle is equal to? Second angle is equal to 90 minus theta. Correct. So only this is theta. This is 90 minus theta. Second. Once again. First angle plus second angle is equal to 90 degree. One example. Let's think first angle is 50 degree. First angle is 50 degree. Then second angle will be how much? Second angle will be definitely 40 degree. So when you add them 50 degree plus 40 degree, you will get 10 degree. That is what they are saying. The angles that the, the angles made by the point P when they go to the elevation, if you add them, that will be equal to how much? 90 degree. That they are saying. So this is theta, this is 90 minus theta. If they would make supplementary, this would be theta, this would be 180 minus theta. Okay, so that is a point. So only I took this as theta and this is 90 minus theta. Next. <coughs> there are numerous methods. Okay. I am choosing to go with application of denominator method. You can go with any method. Okay. So understood the, the meaning of that. Next. Now I, I should find this theta. My, my most important thing is to find theta. If I know theta, I can go forward. So I will take this triangle. However, I know this and this. Okay. So if this is a theta, this will be my perpendicular. This will be my, my base. This will be my hypotenuse. Correct? So I will write here. So P, B, P, H, H, B. This is what we use sine, cos, and tan. So I should use what? Tan. Perpendicular and base I know. I know perpendicular and base. So I can go with the tan. So in triangle CPD, in triangle CPD, this is the triangle CPD. Okay. And tan theta. Understood why I went with, went with tan? Because I have this and this. I am I, I'm not finding this. Okay. Tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base. Perpendicular is CD. And base is PD. Tan theta is equal to CD is how much? 20 by root 20 root 3 by PD is 20. 20, 20 cancel. Tan theta is equal to root 3. When, when will be tan theta root 3? Tan 60 degree. Tan 60 degree. Tan tan cancels theta is equal to 60 degree. So theta value is how much? 60 degree. Okay, this is how we find theta. So once I find theta, I know this. Now see here, this is 60 degree. Then how much will be this? This is 90 minus 60 degree. That is 30 degree. Let's operate that. Okay. So this is 90 minus theta, 90 minus 60. This is 30 degree. Now in this triangle, in triangle ABP or APB. Okay. Now I should find this. I know this. Okay. So to find this, this is my perpendicular again, and this is my base. This is my hypotenuse, which is which I'm not using now currently. So I need perpendicular and base or base, base and perpendicular. That comes again in tan. Correct. So again I should go with tan only. Tan 30 degree is equal to perpendicular by base. Perpendicular is AB. And base is BP. Tan 30, 1 by root 3. Is equal to AB. AB I don't know as it is. And BP is 10. So AB is equal to 10 will go here. 10 by root 3 meter. This is the answer. AB is equal to 10 by root 3. Let's update it as it is. AB is how much? 10 by root 3 meter. This is our perpendicular. After operating AB, now my one work is over. They told me to find this height of the pole. 
have found that that is 10 by root 3 if you rationalize you will get 10 by root 3 into root 3 by root 3 10 root 3 by 3 will get that is also correct answer next now i should find the distance between these two poles that is ac now to find ac i can go with the normal method now i will not use any application of trigonometry formulas see here now i know this and this i can find ap or no see this triangle this is first only which which is this triangle this is right angle triangle by pythagoras theorem ap square will be equal to ab square plus bp square i can find what ap square next point or I, that is one method that is one method you can go or what i can do is i can go with again this one more method i will show okay i will not use that method in triangle this is most important method abb or apb okay now i know this i am finding this i am finding this this is my question mark this is my question mark okay so i want hypotenuse and base where is hypotenuse and base it's in cos so cos 30 degree is equal to hypo base by hypotenuse base is 10 meter bp by hypotenuse ap i am finding ap cos 30 is how much root 3 by 2 is equal to bp bp is how much 10 by 10 by ap ap is equal to 2 if it comes here it will become 20 by root 3 meter one method most easiest method so this hypotenuse this is how much now this is 20 by root 3 meter one work is over i found this next to find this now see come to this triangle now this triangle i know this i know this i can find this or no? again i can go with cos 60 degree see here i want this again base and hypotenuse is there so cos 60 also i can go but this one also again different method you can use any method okay now in triangle pdc or cdp anything you take i will go with normal pythagoras theorem this time i will go with pythagoras theorem okay by pythagoras theorem pc square is equal to pd square plus cd square PC, pd square is how much 20 square 400 directly i am writing and cd square 20 square 400 into 3 1200 do and see that 20 square 400 20 root 3 whole square if you do you will get 1200 1200 plus 400 1600 this is pc square i don't want pc square i want pc pc is equal to square root of 1600 square root of 600 pc is equal to 40 meter if you do by cost method also we get same okay this is 40 meter now i know this is 40 meter this is 20 by root 3 i can find this or no again okay again this is 90 degree you should know this so ac square is equal to last in triangle always write which triangle you are writing so that ev evaluator will understand what you are doing okay in triangle acp ACP, AC square is equal to AC square is equal to AP square plus PC square. Okay, AP is how much? 20 by root 3 whole square plus PC square that is 40 square. You see, 20 square 400 by root 3, 3 so square 400, 40 square 600. LCM 3, 400 plus 1600 into 3, 16 3 is a 48, 4800. This is 5200 by 3. And if I want AC, that is square root of 5200 by 3. 5200 so if you want you can stop here or you can go still more further okay ac is equal to 5200 means it is 400 into 13 by 3 400 if i pull out pull it outside it is 20 root 13 by root 3 meter this is the answer